At the moment, we're going to speak about functional communication training, and it is exactly as you think it is. It allows, commun it, it allows you to communicate in a more functional manner, right? So it's a training, so you're going to teach the person to communicate functionally. Um, somebody might not be communicating functionally. Boom! They might do that. So, you know, whatever. They might be totally out of line with some response uh, um, in order to man for something or whatever the case may be. Um, so uh, the point being that you might want to get somebody to say, may I please get a glass of water rather than beating you across the head or... Right? That could be functional communication training, right? Teaching someone to replace an undesirable response in order to communicate something. That's what FCT, functional communication training, um, it really is, right? So we're going to do, it's basically a DRA, maybe a DRI, depending on what you're doing. So it could be a DRA, or it is a DRA procedure, essentially just to teach the person to communicate um, uh, to communicate what they need, essentially. Um, the nice thing about it is you don't have to modify the establishing operation. You leave the establishing operation alone. Kiddo's thirsty, whatever the case may be, or it's been a while since they've had water, whichever way you want to describe it. So it's been two hours since water consumption. Um, so instead of the kiddo smacking on you until you figure out what they want, you can teach them to go like that. So functional communication training, highly useful in all sorts of settings, and it's not just for people with autism. Think about dogs.